the reality of staying in a Winnebago. This top part comes down and makes another bed, but I don't use it. I have a lot of storage. Somebody took out the dinette and put in this couch. I have a fridge, but don't use it. I use it for storage. I have extra coffee and stuff in here. I don't have a lot in here just yet. And here we are, I have our decor. Coco Pelli, is that his name? I have a, an actual toilet. Cleaning stuff. Here's the curtain for my bedroom. Check it out, man. 1987 and all its glory. You know it's me. I got my skeleton bag. This is my bed. It's a real bed. There's no storage underneath. Never mind the blinds. I'm taking care of that today with some different different um, window coverings. I do have one of those foam there's a fly in here. I have a foam cover thing for the bed. I have old sheets. All my hot mess. Stuff kind of laid out everywhere. I even have house shoes. Here is the shower. It's been wiped down, but there we don't use it to shower in. Um, I'm staying with my mom in here for a couple of days in the Winnebago. We use this for storage for blankets and big stuff like pillows. We wrap them. We have these we got from Walmart. We charge, we leave them on at night, kind of like night lights. And then we have, this stove works, but I don't use it because I do have the Jackery. And then I also have some other stuff. I've got toilet waste bags because I'm not hooked up to a sewer or septic at this time. I do have cooking stuff in here in case I need them. And I have, of course, kitty stuff. So this is one of my newer towels in case I need it. I have other supplies in here. My sink. I have random stuff. We have candles. And I do have another fridge that was came with the Winnebago, but we again use it for storage, paper plates, cups, and things. I'm going to turn it around. This is my Winnebago, 1987 Chieftain, and these are the realities of staying in a Winnebago, uh, either long term or a couple of days. It's a little warm out here. I'm actually in Arizona right now. It's where my Winnebago is registered. I'm on property that I'm allowed to be on, so I'm perfectly safe. And I wanted to show you the realities of being in an RV, whether you're considering traveling, being a nomad, or something else. See you later.